While we understand the importance of constant growth and self-improvement, we also know that it's not easy. Parents have additional incentive to grow and improve. When parents open themselves to change, it leaves an indelible impression upon their children. The Revis stressed this point to Senator Frank Lautenberg in 1972 during an audience conducted at Lubavitch World Headquarters. At the time, Lautenberg was the president of the United Jewish Appeal. On the agenda were global and communal issues such as Israel and Soviet Jewry. Toward the end of the conversation, the Rebbe shifted focus to Lautenberg's personal life. The Rebbe said, now I am approaching you not as a president, but as another Jew who needs to grow and improve and consider a stronger commitment to Judaism. If you try to begin to go in this direction, and if you get into, the, into having a big effect on your children, if they will see that you have changed in the in course of the a few days ahead, you will induce them to reconsider their evaluation of their life ahead of them. They are only in, in, the, in the stage of preparing for the independent life. And every seed, every small change in their attitude now can change in a tremendous amount in, the, in their life ahead. It takes for someone who is 60 years old, 70 years old, and up to 70. And I'm, I belong in the other youth survey, youth department, <laughs> don't make it in a senior home and not going there. But, uh, but a change that can make a, a, a human being is making after 50 or after 40 or after 70, it is a change, and it is a change in good direction, it is a good change. But this is a change that it is as it is. A change made in a teenager, it is some kind of a seed. And a small change in a seed can change all the tree and the fruit, etc., a radical. And if this small change is in a good direction, the, the fruit can be beautiful, magnificent, magnificent, etc., etc. But children automatically, even in our world, they are rebellious, etc., all these uh, things said about them, they are automatically, subconsciously emulating their pain. And if they will see that Mr. Lauter, they being a successful businessman, successful social activist, special community worker, Nevertheless, he is not ashamed to change his way of life, even if he is now after 50 years. And 50 years he has lived according to this pattern. And nevertheless, he has the courage, he has accepted the challenge, to reevaluate his outlook on life, and not only philosophically, but because as a result of that, he has changed his behavior tomorrow morning. On in observing Shabbos, it will, it, will, it will be a shock for your children, but it will be a good shock. It can bring them to changing radically their way, the outlook on life and their way of life, according to your expectations. If you are giving brother, telling me that I have some inequalities of, of doing something, then you will look tomorrow morning in the mirror. If you receive the same Latin that from yesterday, that means that I've not uh, achieved nothing. <laughs> you achieved plenty. Plenty. Yeah, that depends on you. <laughs> <laughs>